Hello everyone, this is I'm a Dr. Nada, and welcome to my channel. Your home for tutorials and modding for story-rich RPGs. Today we're going to be going over something controversial, but actually quite okay. Modding Final Fantasy XIV. Now my subscribers may be familiar with a video that I put out a few weeks ago, where I noted why mods should be allowed in Final Fantasy XIV, where I was misled by articles suggesting that Square Enix bans people who install mods per their terms of service. I looked more into this and found out that Square Enix actually said that ENBs and texture mods do not violate their terms of service, with a link to the forum post where a Square representative said this in the video description. You know what that means! In this video, we're going to review how to make your Final Fantasy XIV characters look amazing with texture mods. I'm going to show you where to get and how to install texture mods. I will then offer a mod suggestion to get you started, possibly formally reviewing all the mods that I'm using at a later time. My next video will be on installing landscape texture mods, placing your beautified character in a wonderful landscape. They have to be separate because they use different softwares and I want to make sure it's very clear for everyone. Note that if this video gets 5 likes, the Thomas the Tank Engine Primal will be summoned, bringing joy, hopefully joy, to all of Eorzea. Before we get started, why would you even want to install texture mods for your Final Fantasy XIV? It looks pretty good, right? Well, once you increase your resolution, the pixelation of some models becomes a little bit more apparent. I'm playing on a 4K TV using a NVIDIA GeForce 3090, and I want to get more out of my game because I'm seeing some pretty large pixels. That's where these character models come in, which can improve player hair, faces, and NPC models. It makes the game that much better, which is great for immersion. Fortunately, it's pretty effortless to install these mods. You only need one piece of software for character models, text tools. This is free software that enables you to install these texture mods. Go to their website, which is listed in the video description, and download and install the program. Windows Defender may complain about the file. I scanned it with the most up-to-date version of Bitdefender, so it should be safe, but of course, progress at your own risk, but of course, I haven't had any problems. Launch the software and it'll make a cache, and now we're ready to go. The next step is to download texture mods. I get most of my mods, really in general, from Nexus. For this video, I'm going to show you how to install the Hair Define mod by Psyka Dark Moon. This mod further defines all the hairstyles you encounter in the game offering more detailed models. After you download the file from Nexus, extract it using WinRAR, then in Text Tools, go to the toolbar and click on Mods, then Import Mod Pack, and then select your TTMP2 file in the folder where you extracted it. Progress through the Import Wizard. The software will then install the files, making your game that much better. If you want to delete a mod, all you have to do is go back to the toolbar again, Selecting Mods, Mod List, Manage Mod List. Select Mod Packs, your imported mod pack, and then you can disable or delete it. So that's how you install character texture mods in Final Fantasy XIV. All it takes is a few clicks for a more beautiful game. Be sure to try it out and let me know in the video comments how it goes or what mods you're excited to try out. And if you found this video helpful, please leave a like and subscribe. It helps my channel a lot. Thanks for watching. Starship out. Alphano, I'll see that the place is still standing when you come back. 